Coming up, $3 million for a colourful dome home in America that's indestructible. Our next house today is a colourful desert treat that is guaranteed to put a smile on your face. And you'll find it in the beautiful desert town of Sedona in the state of Arizona. How impressive is that? Sedona has been the backdrop for hundreds of Western movies and it's famous for its rolling red hills and really dramatic landscapes. But the red hills aren't the most colourful thing around here. Have a look at this. Welcome to Xanadu. Looking just like an Easter Bunny's fantasy home, this huge 5,700 square foot complex is made up of 10 egg-shaped rainbow-coloured domes. The 10 domes are linked to make one big dome home for an equally colourful family with a very alternative lifestyle. Meet the Cherries. Dad Bracken lives here with his wife, Nina, and their three girls, Star, I Am, and Now. A red entrance dome leads into the living room, next to the dining room, kitchen, study, and classroom. Next on round is the TV room, master bedroom, and ensuite bathroom. And finally, more domes house the girls' bedrooms. This place is full of fun, fantasy and free expression. And it's one extravagant house I can't wait to crack open. Now, if you don't mind me saying, your house sort of resembles lots of colourful eggs. How did you come to live in this place? <laughs> we wanted basically to live in an indestructible house that would last a thousand years. Because we plan on living a long time. <laughs> OK. Plus, they're fireproof and tornado proof. and. And she loves decorating them. Believe it or not, eight years ago, this home was just plain old concrete. Nearly 50 gallons of paint later, and it's a multicolored rainbow revolution. I absolutely love the outside. I can't wait to have a look what you've done with the inside. Well, come on in. Thank you. Let's go. Oh, wow, a lot of greenery inside. So this is the very tall red dome, is it, this one here? Yes, this is the egg-shaped dome. It's the only one that is egg-shaped. Most of them are half-sphere. This one's 32 feet high. It's huge. So that's the very, very tall one, and this one isn't as tall, but it certainly is big. This is the great room dome. And there's quite a large water feature going on in this room. That's beautiful. Yeah, that's happy, or happy dolphin. Happy the dolphin. The other thing about domes, as I've noticed just even walking across the room here, is the acoustics are quite crazy, aren't they? Exactly. Oh, you can be on the other side of the dome and whisper, yeah. and you can hear it over here just like it was in your ear, because <laughs> the sound will travel around the curvature of the dome. That could get you in a lot of trouble. <laughs> now, curved walls are very edgy, and I don't want to sound like a square, but where furniture's concerned, sometimes you just got to fit in. So far, I've heard lots of positive things about living in a dome, but surely when it comes to fitting out a room like a kitchen with curved walls, isn't that a bit tricky? There are tricks of the trade. What you do is you, you cut your end caps of your cabinet to the curvature of the dome on both ends. So it's cheating a little bit. Let's go and have a look. So basically, you just put in regular cupboards, but on this end bit here, you just cut it accordingly to the wall. This place certainly is custom-made for fun, and where better to sit back, relax and work on those Easter treats than under a poolside pergola? <laughs> and here's the science bit. Now, we all know that eggs have got a very thin shell, but, and here's the theory anyway, if you place an egg between your palms like this and press as hard as you can, ready? <laughs> it doesn't break, it's absolutely indestructible. The reason being, because of the way the egg is shaped, the pressure just gets evenly distributed, so no one point takes the focus, and that is the same theory behind the dome. It's pretty indestructible. Coming up, how living in a dome home could cut your energy bills in half. We're visiting a house that looks more like a bag of Easter treats than a conventional family home. And I'm not exaggerating. But don't be fooled, this place is built to last. 
Believe it or not, domes just like this one have survived direct hits by tornadoes. Why are they so indestructible? What's the theory? Well, they're made out of solid concrete and insulation and steel. And how they're built is you blow up a polychloride air form and you go on the inside and you spray three inches of polyurethane foam insulation. Then you hang your grid of steel. Then you do your wiring behind your grid of steel. And then you shoot, kind of like an upside down swimming pool, four to five inches of solid concrete on the inside. And that makes them totally solid. So they survive Mother Nature, but what about the general maintenance? Is there much to do there? All you've basically got to do is repaint them. And in fact, they save you 50% on your heating and cooling cost. So they save you enough in 20 years to pay for the house. Shelling out for a vast monolithic dome home like this would set you back around $3 million. But for these guys, it's worth every cent. To the Cherry family, this is much more than a home. It's about a real lifestyle. In fact, all three girls are homeschooled, and this dome is their classroom. Got a teacher's desk just there, and then the girls have got their desks in their own domes. So, girls, what was it like for you growing up in a house like this? Have you enjoyed it? Yeah, it's really good, but it's just like basically normal for us because we've lived in domes our whole entire lives, but it's great anyways. <laughs> and all three of you are homeschooled here, is that right? Well, dome school. Dome school. <laughs> When school's finally out, we're better for a busy mum to relax than the ultimate uplifting kind of bedroom. Wow, your bed looks like it's on a stem. <laughs> <laughs> we call this the champagne glass bed. Ooh, very nice. How do you get into it? Right over here are some wow. stepping stones. Stepping stones. I wouldn't like to try doing this after a few too many. <laughs> You're very high up here, aren't you? Mm -hmm. What's it like sleeping in this bed? It's really wonderful. You can see the stars and the moon. Sometimes right at the full moon, it shines right on you that night. So have you really never fallen out of the bed here? Really never. <laughs> Near misses. <laughs> it's always a first, although I expect you're pretty used to it now. Yes. Look in the dictionary and you'll see that Xanadu means an idyllic, beautiful place. Well, this home certainly lives up to its name. So why not think out of the box and swap your square house for a dome home? It's sure to bring some colour into your life. I'm on the East African coast of Kenya. <laughs> Brown's here. Bathroom. Your toilet looks a little bit like a mushroom, I think. <laughs> I know I'm funny, but... <laughs>